hesitate for this welterweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If you was a fighting out of the blue corner. Below, remember the name, Muhammad. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, Leon Rocky Edwards. And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, early round action here featuring the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name, Muhammad. Biggest key to his success of late, undeniably, has been the wrestling and the pressure game, the ability to impose his will on the ground. He has an outstanding top game, very good ground and pound. And I think when his submission offense gets to that next level, Bilal Muhammad's going to start putting people away and maybe be fighting for the title before the end of the year. Perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Big right hand. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because... He has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. Oh, nice. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's in. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Takedown defense is there. He gets to a spot, the tie plays. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Muhammad. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Lands a jab. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Muhammad's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, he gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent... Oh, my God! All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye. Both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. This is crazy around the fight. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round underway. Huge oh, connection there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment. Oh, he lands. 
lands a massive kick here. Muhammad goes in for the takedown now, and he gets it. Beautiful transition there, and he was getting worked on the feet, so a nice job to get the fight to the ground. In the half guard. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Bilal Muhammad. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch the ball. Big, big shots here. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Didn't see that one coming. Gets tagged with a nice combination in the head. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success. <laughs> His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh! Oh, nice jab. Oh, nice level change. That is how you reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by a man. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, look pretty tight, but he gives up on the side. Oh! 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 up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. That's a good kick by him right there. Well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed. Oh! That's how we got to do it! Leon Edwards has done it! I mean, wow. Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky.